But it could be somebody who's a Scorpio, maybe not a love partner, but somebody that is you're interested in, you're connecting with at a deep level. Maybe you're getting involved with um, some sort of uh, reincarnation, exploration, some kind of a group that does regressions. Who knows? It could be something that deals with the subject of death as well, and that fits into your life. Now I'm going to talk about the pitfalls of 2018, and one of them is the lover's card. So this does connect with Gemini, which is a sign that forms a square with your sun sign. And uh, so whether it's a person of that sign or whether it's talking about being very careful about who you choose as a lover, a partner, um, obviously that's always important, but perhaps there's somebody in your life that is in and out and you are thinking of uh, making a commitment to this person and uh, you are to really be serious about it. Also about going into business with somebody else, a partnership, that could be something that depending on who the person is, it might not be wise. Um, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, because this is Pentacles and it relates to Earth energy, it could be a f facet of you of being too plodding. Actually, this card connects with Taurus specifically, but this idea of just um, the day-to-day -day grind, really like focused on amassing money, but perhaps in, in such a, a zone that you are missing out on other things in life. And usually we think of this card in a very good way, in a very positive way, of it being somebody who is very industrious. But there's always that flip side where the person is just, has no, because uh, I'm, I'm thinking of in terms of the um, reverse position, where the person has no imagination and they're just going through life, they're going through the motions and overly materialistic in other words. And here we have another um, pentacles and looking at this it can be someone who is too connected with um, security minded when it comes to finances where it's like emotionally you need that in order to feel like you're okay but in doing that you're willing to tolerate things that you shouldn't. I'm seeing in the past position walking away from something that is um, unsuitable but it might, might not be a job. Maybe there is something along those lines that also needs to be uh, walked away from because the environment is very toxic but you just can't do it and you're too maybe it's somebody who is a shopaholic it's th these are not things that go along with the sign of Virgo Virgo tends to be much more fiscally conservative in a lot of ways very thrifty but it it, it maybe this is a person around you um, who is um, causing problems. If you have, uh, if you're with somebody who has a child with another woman and, uh, you know, they are asking for money, always wanting, kind of trying to keep using the child as a, as a ploy to gain more money from, from your partner, then that might be a thorn in your side. And that could be what they're talking about, too. The advice is represented by the Five of Cups. Now, this is a card of grieving or loss. So with the Eight of Cups, I think this is not necessarily a death, although, you know, we have this, but it could be the death of a dream, okay? And maybe there's some, some um, it, maybe you get left a marriage situation even, and you still have those residual feelings of either loving that person but having to go um, and also the sense of failure the sense of not being able to make it work 
there may be some kind of uh, alcoholism that is plaguing either your current relationship or a relationship that's very important to you. And it could even be with a mother figure since I have these two queens in this reading. Um, and you may need to get help, not for that person because you can't make them actually change, but you may need to get help for yourself so that you can best deal with somebody else's addiction and, and, and do so in a way that you're not enabling them to continue or to get worse. And the outcome is the Knight of Cups, which is a card of an offer. This could be a person who is very romantic and creative. And I said there was a lot of creative energy down here. Um, you may be surrounded by someone, by people who are artistic, maybe singer-songwriters or um, actors, other types of people who create either they're doing this for a living or as some kind of hobby and you perhaps you fall in love with this person this person could be of a cancer Scorpio or Pisces I always think of Pisces because of the romantic nature but I don't know that it's specifically tied to Pisces And then we have the other card that is temperance, and this is about balance. And you see that this angel uh, has one foot on in the water and one foot on land, and this connects to um, balancing the spirit with the material. And um, that is something that is... I think for, for Virgos, that's a real challenge because you tend to be very pragmatic and grounded individuals and not necessarily um, spiritual in this uh, sense that I associate with this Queen of Cups where it's very dreamy, receptive energy. You're much more like uh, practical where you, you're concerned with the matters that are before you, the things that are tangible and that, you know, you can see or touch or hear or taste. And that's what you think are the most important things. Of course, there are going to be spiritual Virgo people, but you almost think that that's uh, uh, something of a, I don't know, indulgence or something along those lines, that it really doesn't affect the day-to-day -day life of people. And that could be true, but it's it's about um, the, the balance between the unseen forces and, and the things of the world. We, we need a combination of them because sometimes we, like especially with creativity, they come from you know ideas, any kind of idea comes from an unseen place and then it's brought into the physical. It starts from the non-material and becomes physical. So we have to honor that, that part of it. You don't have to make it into something that is so um, mysterious or anything like that, but it's almost like practical intuition or practical magic. So um, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you'd like a private reading, please click on the link below. and. Have a happy new year. Bye.